and that's what we're thinking about summer treats because it's really been feeling like <laughs> summer although the unofficial yeah. start of it that comes Memorial Day weekend yes. days away from it but we're thinking about it because these temperatures have been so warm over the past several days and today will be no exception to that a lot of sunshine out there for your Tuesday the sun came up at 625 that was our official sunrise time today those skies are bright and satellite and radar it's very quiet here locally we are watching this cluster of storms along a stationary front well to our north and west providing some severe thunderstorm warnings tornado warnings and portions of Iowa and eastern Nebraska we have an area of low pressure that is sitting off to the west here this system slides east dragging a cold front with it as we head through the day today we stay on the warm side of this will be quiet but then tomorrow or really late tonight into tomorrow we will be tracking some showers and storms that front moves through and we see some changes here locally as we head through the rest of the week we're at 67 in Indy 69 in Muncie and 70 degrees to start you off in Shelbyville this morning another warm one with temperatures that by noon will be in the low to mid 80s a mix of sun and clouds around into the late afternoon high temperatures in the upper 80s and pretty mild on through the evening as well your allergy tracker is a little bit worse for today grass pollen still at high mold still at medium but tree pollen was bumped up to high expected to be at high levels later today and weed pollen also came up from low to medium levels for today as well future view as we head into the lunch hour we're still Still expecting dry conditions and that's going to be the case as we head into the afternoon too. Maybe we get an isolated pop up shower just due to the heating of the day late this afternoon, but most stay completely dry and on into the evening. Pretty quiet too. It's the overnight hours. We'll be tracking a storm threat here, but today the bulk of the storms the highly concentrated to be more favorable off well to our west in portions of Iowa, Illinois, northern Missouri, but the northwestern corner of the state is highlighted under that potential for some strong, maybe severe storms late tonight. Then tomorrow afternoon and evening that shift to switches to the south for that storm threat. We'll go through future view as we head through the overnight hours. This is 3.30 a.m. We'll be seeing a few showers and storms coming on through. I'm expecting these to be weakening, but some of these might still be on the strong side and they might contain some gustier winds. A damaging wind threat would be the most I'd be concerned about, but again, I'm not really expecting severe weather with these storms tonight. We'll get into some drier conditions by late morning into the early afternoon. Then as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, some scattered showers and storms come through. Again, the southern third of the state looks more favorable to see that activity a damaging wind threat and a large hail threat will be with those storms that move on through later tomorrow and then we are looking at drier conditions to start Thursday before more showers and storms return they'll be off and on as we head through Friday into the weekend cooler with highs in the 70s Thursday and Friday we're closely keeping an eye on Sunday race day there are rain chances in the forecast still fine-tuning the timing on that so make sure you check back as we get closer to that to that date Melissa